than what just happened. Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper came together to make a worship song. Let's go. This is amazing. Let's play it at church next week. Wait a second. Oh, wait one minute. I don't know if this is actually a worship song, <laughs> guys. Okay, somebody sent me this song, and it's the trending topic right now. Everybody's posting about it, and I listened to the song, and it's a catchy song. But the thing is, guys, this is not a worship song. I don't know what kind of, what, if we're listening to the same song or I'm missing a big point here. This is not a worship song. It's a fine song, but let's break down some of the lyrics and I'll tell you what I mean. So JB starts, I love saying JB, I sound so cool. JB, no, I just sound like an old guy. Yo, so JB says it like this. I hear a lot about sinners, don't think I'll be a saint, but I might go down the river because the way that the sky opens up when we touch, yeah, it's making me say that the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, feels so holy, 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 holy on God. Okay, so uh, to me, this is not a worship song at all because especially as you read further down, he's talking about his girl thing. He's talking about his wife. Okay, but actually in the in the video, his wife isn't actually in it, whatever, they're being they're acting, whatever. Um, but, but it's like, okay, you're not actually talking about g God here. You're talking about your girlfriend, which a lot of, you know, modern Christian music could be confused that way. But you're talking about your girlfriend, which that's fine. But in some ways, I don't know, man. Like, it doesn't feel good to me when you're taking the, you know, the song Holy, Holy, Holy or whatever. And you want to kind of change it to mean, you know, your girlfriend touching you and, and, and all that. Like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't... Uh, Maybe it's not nice for Christians to to kind of have that, um, you know, going on. Like, I mean, in, in the context of the song, this isn't something like we're like, oh, we got to play this at church or like, you know, man, I just, you know. But no, this is actually just a love song, which kind of uh, manipulates some terminology that we'd want to use for God and brings it to the level of a spouse or girlfriend or whatever. And so that doesn't make me feel too good, but let's keep going here. So I don't do well with drama, and no, I can't stand being fake. No, 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 no. I don't believe in Nirvana. Well, that's a good thing. Don't believe in that. Um, but the way that we love in the night gave me life. Baby, I can't explain. Like, dude, guys, we got to settle down. I don't know who the people are passing this around that Chance the Rapper and, and Justin Bieber came out with this Christian record that is just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, it's going to be at Hillsong next week or it's going to be at Transformation Church next week, which it may be. I don't know. Maybe they'll perform there. But, guys, this is not a, this is not a worship song. This is like, I'm sorry. If anything, it's a little bit, you know... Eh, it's a little iffy, especially when you're talking about your girlfriend calling the way they hold you, hold you, hold you, hold you, is so holy, holy, holy. Like, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know, I haven't made up my mind. Maybe you talk to me tomorrow and I'm like, that's bad, that's really bad. But right now I'm just like, I don't feel good about that. Um, so if anything, I would say it's a whatever song by Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper that has some iffy um, kind of um, church language in it, okay? Like, honestly, the only holy person is is God. If we're talking about real um, theology here, if we're talking about reality, God's the only holy one. I know what they mean. I don't feel too good about it that they're taking that and applying it to your girlfriend. Um, it's, it's a little weird to me. Um, I get it. I get it. it's supposed to be nice and like sweet and all that and churchy, but uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll keep going here. This part I literally don't understand. They say we're too young and the pimps and the players don't go cruising. Wise men say ru fools rush in, but I don't know. They say we're too young and they keep going. Okay, I don't I, I don't know what that's about. That that might be is that the part when, you know, at the the front of the church they're like, "Let's sing that part again, church." Like, I hope not. I hope not. I hope, you know, look, don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm not making an accusation about uh, JB or Chance the Rapper's faith or all that. I, I don't know. I don't know what their, what their part is in that, okay? But what I would say is, for us, let's not uh, jump too quickly about saying, declaring this maybe the greatest worship song of all time, especially when he's talking about how nice it is to touch his girl at night and how that makes him feel holy 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 like uh that's kind of weird to me that's i mean and that's pretty weird in general uh let's settle down with that stuff he talks about the uh, i'm going to the altar like a track star that's good that's good that's good um but uh you know 
Let's see it reflected in some of the other music, I think. Maybe some will argue, oh no, he's not talking about just his girlfriend. He's talking about God too, you know, how God holds us and, and God kind of, you know, loves on us and it feels so holy, holy, holy. Okay, I kind of understand what you're saying there, but obviously when you read the song lyrics, that's not the context whatsoever. So <laughs> this definitely is not a theological masterpiece. And this is definitely not a Kanye West 2.0, ladies and gentlemen. This is certainly not that. I know some of you got on me when I kind of jumped on the Kanye ba bandwagon. You're like, settle down, Isaac. We don't know what's going on. And look, you know, we still don't know the state of his heart. I'm honestly not, um, I'm not uh, too displeased with what, what he's doing. I mean, he, he's still speaking about, you know, the evils of abortion. He's still declaring his faith in some way in the public sphere. And so, I don't know. But look, the difference between Justin Bieber's song and Chance the Rapper's song, Holy, and like Kanye West's West song, Selah, or something like that, are eons apart. There's really no comparison. So, I mean, let's settle down before we start declaring this the next Christian music revolution and keep our heads on straight anyway i hope that you found this video helpful and maybe enjoyable in some way uh subscribe because i'm putting out new videos all the time and i will see you next time god bless guys